spot. Of course, not everyone happy with that choice. Sean Lewis in the newsroom with the story. Hi, Sean. Hi there, Gaynor. We were the first to tell a lot of people around the Willis Tower today about the decision by the Chicago-based Council on Tall Buildings. A lot of perplexed people today when we did break that news to them. How could a skyscraper, they asked, whose roof is actually 100 feet lower than the Willis Tower grab first place? According to the people who make that decision, it's all about the final altitude. How does this affect Chicago? The announcement came this morning at simultaneous news conferences, one in New York City, the other in Chicago. The, the One World Trade Center Tower in New York has been ratified by the CTBH Height Committee as having a height of 1,776 feet to the height to architectural top. One World Trade Center, when it's complete next year, will become the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. A title held for nearly 40 years by the Sears, now Willis Tower. The building in New York, One World Trade Center, is a wonderful icon. And it's a great symbol of American resiliency. Uh, for us, we're welcoming another tall building to this elite club of great structures. And it doesn't make a difference what a council declares. We know that what makes this building great remains. That's the official line from the Willis Tower spokesman, but take a look at the side-by-side -side view. If you think the Willis's roof is just a little bit taller, you'd be right, by 100 feet. It's actually the spire in New York that took the title away. That's not fair. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> they would have built their building a little bit higher without playing that game, and it could have been legitimate then. Let's have a spire off. Add one. We should add a spider to the Willis Tower? Take it back. Mayor Emanuel today, when asked his thought of the decision, jabbed his finger at the Chicago-based committee and New York City. If it looks like an antenna, acts like an antenna, then guess what? It is an antenna. Uh, and uh, there is, uh, that's number one. Number two, I think if at the Willis Tower, you will have a view, a view that's unprecedented in its beauty and its landscape and its capacity to capture something, something you can't do from an antenna. <laughs> Not that I'm competitive. <laughs> that would be wrong. Mayor Emanuel, never competitive at all. So now back to that question, how will this affect Chicago? Will fewer people come here now that it's not the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere? There was a mixed reaction on that when we asked people, but it was pointed out that, and the mayor made reference to this, that even though One World Trade will have the title as the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, you can still be up higher in the Willis Tower from the Sky Deck. Gainer? There you have it. Thanks, Sean. You bet. So how do these buildings compare to some of the largest, tallest in the world? Let's take a look. The world's tallest building is still the Burj Khalifa in Dubai at a towering 2,716 feet. That's nearly 1,000 feet taller than One World Trade Center. Taipei 101 in Taiwan measures up just shy of that at 1,671 feet. And then there's the Petronas Towers in Malaysia, which both stand at 1,483 feet. And then you have the Willis Tower in Chicago, which has an official height of 1,451 feet.